good shot because I've got to run out of building a bit. Stay in line, boys. Belinda <laughs> with attention. Get the, get the wheels in line. Get the wheels in line, mate. <laughs>
toothbrush, we're going to London. Do you hear that, Doug? I'm coming to London! award is for contractor of the year rural asset finance is the sponsor this evening thank you very much and we welcome the director matthew smart good evening matthew okay let's take a look at the contenders shall we yeah from springfield meadow in cornwall aj haywood and sons early adoption of new technology has been central to aj haywood and sons success supported by an on-site mechanic and engineering division that keep the wheels turned. From Barrow Hill Farm in Somerset to AJ Boot Contracting. Hard work, enthusiasm and pride in the job, paired with a focus on cost efficiency rather than a desire for the shiniest kit, have been the makings of Ashley and Chelsea's contracting business. And from Lane Head Farm in Yorkshire, AWSM. Bold decisions and brave investments have yielded impressive growth for AWSM, which offers a comprehensive range of agricultural services alongside its vast digestate spreading operation. But which of these three is Contractor of the Year? Three very different businesses, but sadly just one winner. Matthew knows the answer. And the winner is AJ Hayward and Sons. Absolutely. Up you come, please. Up you come. Cornwall, AJ Hayward and Son. Innovation and technology have been the key to the growth of AJ Hayward and Sons and the ability to provide customers with detailed data on harvesting and spreading operations. That ensures the business plays a central role in farm decisions. Contractor of the Year then, AJ Haywood and Sons, and thanks to Rural Asset Finance. Another delighted winner, that's so cool. Well, next, uh, it's time to
in all. Weather's taking a turn for the worse, so everything's ground to halt back in the yard. So just thought I'd give you a walk around and see what's going on today. Cake was with the baler last night. Robert's in his combine cleaning out his sieves. Yeah, all done. Say hello, Robert. Hello. <laughs> Full of weed seeds and stuff. This is a big day for Grassman because we were in Cornwall. We were planning to call and see you, Kevin, because we've been speaking to you at different times at the Cornwall show, etc. In between times, look what you've went and done. <laughs> <laughs> what is this award? The award is uh, all the late nights, all the long days. You know, sat in a tractor, three o'clock in the morning, finishing up. Probably all the sacrifices over the years with not being able to see family, um, all the hard work and that. So yeah, that's all sort of rolled into to one trophy for that really. And all, you know, to the lads as well. And that's all their hard work because I sacrifice my time because it's my business. But the lads, when they're out at three o'clock in the morning with me doing the job, you know, they're taking them a wage. But I'd like to think this is as much for them as it is to me. And who is this fine young man holding the award up here? <laughs> so this is uh, my youngest son, Corey. Um, hopefully one day he will uh, he be stood where I am. Uh, well, he is stood. Well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Do you like tractors, Corey? Yeah. Massey Ferguson's the best? Yeah. No. No? John Deere. Okay. <laughs>
Hi everyone, just wanted to wish everybody a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Uh, I know Christmas has come and gone now, um, I hope we all had a good one and uh, looking forward to 2024 but what a year 2023 was. Certainly a lot of highs and lows, thankfully a lot more highs than there was lows. The, uh, the season was not an easy one with the weather but uh, that's the, uh, the problems we have to deal with sometimes out of our control, we can't control the weather so uh, but yeah what started off as quite a wet season and then a, a busy May and June where we had three months work to do in one and then after that the uh, the season was very stop start and very small windows uh, the lads and uh, that were all put under a lot of pressure with uh, having to do a week's work in three days but we we're, uh, we're kind of used to that but now definitely the highs this year was uh, was winning our two awards never thought uh, we'd a, make it to the finals of one of them but to uh, to make it to the finals of the Farmers Weekly and the British Farming Awards and to actually bring both awards home was certainly a dream come true uh, as a young lad starting out in the contracting world it's only something you can aspire to be to be voted uh, contractor of the year twice yeah so definitely a dream come true but not something that came easily it's a lot of hard work and dedication not just from me but all the lads that have sort of shown true grit and determination to uh, to help us win the award and even the guys over the years that don't work for us anymore have all contributed this isn't a, a 12 month thing this is you know, a lifetime achievement for me taken several years of hard work so thank you to uh, to all the guys that have sort of come and gone over the years it's as much their hard work but definitely the lads that, that are on at the moment certainly work hard appreciate everything they do also you know to our customers um, we wouldn't be able to be contracting without our customers big thank you to all of them that have entrusted us to do all their work throughout the season and, and do so each year we're truly thankful for all their uh, commitment looking forward to 2024 moving on see what happens bigger and better things we've invested a, a lot of money into next year so a few new bits of kit coming next year a few new projects that we've got coming out early next year very exciting times as we know farming uh, has its ups and downs so contracting is no different certainly been a year to remember 2023 winning two awards was definitely uh, going to take some beating a highlight of my career when i started off contracting um, 30 plus years ago i always wanted not to be the biggest but to be the best at what we do we don't always get it right you know there are some days where things don't go right but that's the same in any business to win the two awards and to be voted best in the country at the moment the 2023 is certainly a dream come true not something i um i thought we'd ever manage but i need to have a bit more faith in myself and just proves that we are uh, hopefully on the right path doing things right 90% of the time so we don't always get it right but I'd like to think that uh, maybe nine times out of ten we do and if uh, if we do have a problem then we try to sort it move on and not dwell on it but yeah 2023 was definitely a, uh, a year to remember and 2024 we'll actually be celebrating 45 years of contracting my dad started in 1979 that's going to be something to celebrate um, hopefully we can uh, have a bit of a party next year to celebrate that and that's, that's something to look forward to so yeah that's why we've got a few uh, few new things coming next year and, uh, and big investments for the business to hopefully propel the business into the next 45 years and see uh, see what happens as one thing with agriculture we never know what what problems we're going to face and i guess that's what keeps it exciting whatever problems we'll come across as we always do at AJ and Sons, we'll uh, uh, prevail and conquer and uh, overcome those problems, get around it one way or another. We're fairly resilient, but then I guess anybody in agriculture is because uh, you kind of have to be. Just wanted to say another thank you to uh, all the staff and customers, dealerships, family, friends. Thank you so much for your support over the years, but definitely this last 12 months, it's been really nice to see all the comments on our social media pages when we won the awards. It actually makes you uh, realize that you've uh, got a lot of support, which helps you through the bad times. It's no good just looking at the good times. You've got to 
you've got to take the bad times with the good. I guess that's what makes the good times even better when you've had bad times and you've overcome them. But yeah, thank you to all the support and messages that we've had. It uh, really means a lot to know that we've got uh, a lot of support out there. And yeah, looking forward to next year. So Merry Christmas to everybody and Happy New Year. See you in 2024.